Hello and welcome to Super Nerd Network. This is Cyrus, and uh, this is part two of Awesome Knots. I plan on playing uh, probably well, one or two bot matches here, and then I will probably load into uh, one or two uh, player versus player games, uh, depending on how much time goes by. But for the most part, I still want to just kind of show the game off a bit. And the bot games make it a little easier just because uh, the queue times are much quicker. I mean, I've gotten fast queue times on player versus player, but for the most part, it's way quicker going against bots. And even playing some games, sometimes playing against players is honestly easier <laughs> than going up against bots. I know the last uh, two games that I played, I steamrolled the bots, but sometimes it honestly will be like that for player going up against players. So let's see, I showed off uh, Voltar and Durple Zork. Um, I'll probably play Yolip. He's also kind of a supporty character. Uh, I think this will only be my second or third game as him, so probably won't go as well, but we'll see. So typically for him, um, as you see, I don't really have much unlocked. So yeah, actually, I think I've only played one game as him. But I like to go with this uh, ability called Dino Poop because he has these little robots that he throws out that uh, leave health packs whenever you pick this ability up, and it's really good for initiating. So odds are I'll probably go out here, collect a little bit of uh, solar, and then I'll probably just TP back, to be honest, just so I can get back faster. Okay. I should have enough. Once I go back, yeah. Oh, I forgot to bring something. So, <laughs> pick that up. so now it leaves health pa uh, health packs, and uh, he's actually kind of cool also because he can heal these little uh, bots by hitting them, which is pretty awesome. I think he's one of the only people that can do that. And there are those little robots. Oh, um, yeah, they're doing a bit of damage. Overextended just a, a little bit for that. Some of these guys. Quick. Yeah, see, the, I mean, the robots just have some good range. Yeah, they make it quite hard. Do that again just for the health. Okay, and then we'll back up just because it's a 1v2, and it might look like I can put out some damage, but I don't think I can put out quite that much. Off you go. If all fails, try hitting it. Uh, okay, hold my robots up. And uh, so the thing with those robots is that they don't do damage to the turret. I think they might have done damage to those robots. I wasn't 100% paying attention, but. Okay. Okay, we'll just do that. Yeah, we'll go back. Honestly, I should probably be playing with my team just because I am a support character, but I do really want to get this first turret taken care of. So. I'll do that. No. Go like that. Yeah, and see, look, my uh, teammates already got the turret destroyed. 
could probably back and buy some abilities, but I don't know. I'd, I'd probably just get this. Time to earn your keep. Here's what a concussion looks like. Just out the scalp. Ling on. Ling on. Okay. Yeah, she's got that. And yeah, she's going to waste that ability. Cool. Dino disaster. Yeah, you'll see that I go uh, bottom lane quite a bit. Okay, they backed off. And I'll go up here with them and get that turret. My clever girl. I can adjust that spine if you'd like. Yeah, that's a Raylan who has that shot. It has a pretty good range, and it does a lot of damage when it hits. Uh oh. Yeah, this is actually probably a good time to back anyway. So now, I'll probably just go with the recommended. I'll increase the lifetime and then increase the range of my grappling gaze, which is my uh, right mouse button. Increase the stun duration, which will be really nice. Then I'll do this, just keep them from pressing forward. I'll go use that ability. Yeah, Oop, that's not good. So that guy is like a, I would say like a little mini boss equivalent. You can uh, kill him and I believe he heals you up all the way, I think. Um, I mean, if not, he has one of the health pickups right behind him. And I believe you also get a bit of solar from him, too. So it is worth it, but he, uh, he can be a little harder to kill, especially since I'm an up-close person. Okay, I'll go like this. I'm telling you, science beats evolution. Yeah, we'll probably go back again, but I'll walk this time just so I can pick up a couple extra solar. What was it? Once we get this one, okay, I'll do that.
Yeah, so I'm gonna go over here and help him out. Yeah, since this is about. And one of my players is gonna kill. How's this for chaos theory? No. Time to earn your keep. Okay, yeah, they do damage to the bots, which is really nice. What I'll do is I'll probably throw him into my turret. If all fails, try hitting it. I can adjust that spot ah, if you'd like. Um, okay, I just see him. Yeah, see, he does a lot of damage. If all fails, try hitting it. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> okay, yeah, so you get full health and then you get some solar from it, which is pretty good. But I'll go down here where our railing is. Just to back her up. And she should be able to solo Froggy G. Like you got replaced with a bot. And then I'll finish up this turret and then I'll probably back and I think we finish this. Okay, I'll just back now. And a player game, I'll probably teleport a lot more than I will just wander back. So, let's see. Okay, so my movement speed getting increased by five. So that'll be pretty good. Percent. And these will increase my maximum health by eight percent. And my wrench smack will reduce the cooldown of my robo dials, which will actually be really nice. Oh, 
Okay, let's focus on that. Got this one. Yep. It looks like our guy ended up reconnecting at the end, but then a different player disconnected. Or it's just showing as a bot right now for whatever reason. Yeah. So that one was about what, 13 and a half minutes or something like that. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> 14 minutes 49 seconds. But. So I did 5, 1, and 7, so that's pretty good. I mean, I'm a supporty character, so I should I will more than likely be getting a lot more assists. Um, but I did some decent turret damage, and I mean, I killed a lot of bots, which kind of makes sense because I heal my own bots, and typically their bots and our bots do end up meeting quite often. Um, yeah, so looks like that was a pretty solid game. So we'll play uh, one, more, one more of these, and then I'll uh, go over to a... Uh, actually, I lied. We'll play a... Uh, versus match together so you'll see that it's just going to be a uh, it might be a long queue time we'll see we'll see what it says oh only 34 seconds so the highest I've seen is about six minutes before and so I guess this time around it's going really quick so hopefully that just means that there's a bit of people online oh more than likely be going for Durple Zork this uh this round uh but i guess it depends on our team like if someone else picks triple zork i'll pick them but uh like i said in my other video uh with this game there's not really like a meta team i mean there definitely can be like a really good team but i feel like that's only like relevant like for like top 100 maybe but really just whoever you're good at is who you play so i'll select triple zork Negotiations. He's going to play Nibs, who's like an assassin type, so he deals quite a bit of damage. And uh, Penny Fox is also an assassin type, but we'll see if this, if this person selects him. Ayla would also be another good choice, just because of the damage put out. Okay, so that's another assassin type character. So they should be able to dish out quite a bit of damage, which would be pretty nice. Uh, even on online matches, I'll still go with the uh, nuke route, where I'll just make his nuke uh, really powerful. So my build's not really going to be different. Like I said, the biggest difference is you'll probably see me teleport back a lot more than just walk back just because they're a lot more time sensitive matters sometimes depending on how the game's going really like if we're just steamrolling them yeah i'll probably walk back just grab the couple extra solar that i get from it and this map's actually pretty neat so in the little mini map here on the very top there are like those three circles uh those are actual teleport locations so you have little teleporters on each side and then on the bottom that uh that you can go and that's how that's one way that you can kind of be really mobile throughout this map so what i'll do is i'll put that right here okay Go here, see if it's gonna bait him at all. 
I might be able to bait him. And so this little ability that he hit me with will actually hurt my allies if I walk towards him with it. So if you're playing up against him, just remember that. Uh, remember that. And they got some action going on up top, so I'll actually join them. So I'll take that kill. And there's a little robot up here, so I'll probably end up hit. Uh, well, my teammate needs help more than I do, so I'll let him get it. Actually, probably gonna have to back just with how low my health is. So I'll TP back, and then I might as well pick up an ability. So, with how they're playing, I mean, I could make the nuke faster, we'll try that. But I feel like I should have just increased my bullet damage, but we'll see. My team is playing very defense heavy right now, which I don't blame them. I'll take that. I'll just back because I can buy another ability. I'm gonna increase my uh, bullet damage. Just trying to think what we need to do because so they're only putting a Raylan on the bottom. So if we get a kill there, we might be able to take this turret. Okay. Uh, that's probably gonna kill me. Yeah, and that's incredibly like the hitbox on his little mine is just kind of crazy, but just gotta deal with it, I guess. Specialized Universal Secretary Interface Online. 
Yeah, so this will give me like a little shield, which will help a little bit for me to kind of be a little more aggressive. But unfortunately, the way he kind of plays is that I need a kind of aggressive team to kind of push while I set up turret mode. This isn't good. So, An enemy is to kill. okay. Your turn is Yeah, his bull got me, just because it pushed me to the turret. It was a good play on his end. So I think I, the guy playing the, what's her name, like Kat Kitara or, yeah, Kitara. I think she is playing aggressively, but maybe too aggressively. I'm not 100% sure yet. Just because she is going zero on four. Oh, it's gonna hurt us all. Nice. So what I can do is, oh. well, there is usually like little health bots here, but. Man, he's real good. Oop. And I just said not to do what I just did, and I did. Yikes. Oop. Yep, he's gonna try to hit me again. See, unfortunately, we need to get like a couple frags to go push, and we're kind of going to be playing defensive until we can do that, but I don't know if we have a team for it. Yeah, so this is where we should be pushing their turret.
I should have saw that one coming too. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, this is where they just come and push our base. Yep, there he is at our base. Okay, so something happens that like that was that guy's first time playing Kitara, which kind of sucks that he picked now during an online game. Yeah, he's just. Yeah, so sometimes you get that where a guy plays a character for the first time on an online match. Which I don't necessarily get why. I mean, I guess it helps you learn it, but. Yeah, it went 3 3 and 0. Kind of, kind of bad. But. Yeah. We all did relatively the same, actually, so. I mean. I'm not a solo carrier by any means. Uh, let's see. I think, though, that, that will more than likely be it. We're going on 32 minutes, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll uh, more than likely play some more online matches for my next video, but I hope you enjoyed this one.